Hi everyone, this is Susie with Creative Cafe, and I have a very simple little album. Uh, it's a little boy's album I want to share. I used um, Graphic 45's Little Darlings paper and some craft card stock, um, and I used chipboard for the covers, and um, just used my cinch. And this here is a really cute, it's just a beautiful flower. Um, I got it from my friend Neri. She sent that to me. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. I uh, don't know exactly where she got it. And um, I have cut this out of the 12 by 12, the little darlings here, and just kind of bumped it up. And this, of course, is from the 12 by 12 sheet. The book, basically, uh, I used the 8 by 8 paper pad with the exception of if I, I purchased a 12 by 12 sheet just so I could have some of the bigger... Uh, pieces to cut out here and anyway this opens up and I have a place for a uh, wallet size photo there and over here I have a place for a wallet size photo also and then a 4 by 6 photo map there and then uh, here I've just simply cut get it in frame here. I've just simply cut this out of the paper, uh, put it on the back of the uh, cover, added some wording, the bouncing baby, and between each page I did add a piece of vellum. Uh, can be used for anything, maybe stamping or just a picture just left, just left uh, like it is. Um, here I just have a wallet size photo map. This is a piece that I've cut out of the 12 by 12 paper there. And then uh, here I've added a Tim Holt adage ticket and some, I believe this is Recollections bling here, uh, the Graphic 45's chipboard tags to the paper collection. And of course a 4x6 photo mat. And then this page here I have stamped on just a uh, craft, um, this is the uh, Ranger tags. Uh, I believe they're uh, essentials, or but anyway, they're from uh, Ranger, and um, just left a place for journaling. Actually, have two wallet size photo mats there with some more of the chipboard tags. These are just some little flowers that I got at Michael's on their dollar bin, and then this here is just a band. Yeah, and I left it a band so that anything could be placed in there. Uh, maybe the, uh, you know, they always give you the little mock uh, birth certificate. I thought it would be cute to slide in there. And then I added a place for journaling there with some more uh, of the stamping on it. And it just slips in there. And then on this page here, I have simply added a little bling, place for journaling, 4x6 photo mat, and just pop this up. One of the little paper cutouts there. And then this page here, I've just simply um, cut some of the uh, little stamps out. Added a little Tim Holtz adage ticket there, giggle. Uh, some more of the wording, and then a 4x6 photo mat here. And then on the back cover, I used a um, Maya Rhodes craft envelope. Um, can just put any any kind of little something in there, a little note, just something uh, for baby. I thought maybe a little note of some sort would be cute. If I can get my string back on here. And... Uh, Anyway, that's basically the album. I kept it really simple and small. I wanted it simply for the um, uh, newborn baby, just a newborn, not for very many pictures. And then here on the back, I have just added my handcrafted just for you. But anyway, this is my little mini. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching.